Hey, hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. This is Super Mario Galaxy 2, by far my most requested game of all time, even though I never take requests. People keep that in mind, so I'm just telling you this here, just so you know, again. <laughs> And that's part of the reason why I don't want to do a walkthrough on this game, because I've, he I've heard this game being requested so many times, it's gotten really, really annoying. People's like, people will probably be like, well, just do the game then, because it'll make people shut up or something like that. Well, no, it, it kind of made me feel like I don't want to play this game, so you're just getting a random gameplay out of me. <laughs> And a, a game that I don't feel like playing at, at a time, I don't feel like a video is going to be good on it. This might be an exception as well, but <laughs> I guess we shall see. So, let's talk to the Toad. You can point out star bits to collect things. I've also collect the star bits and whatnot. And grab onto the blocks. By, by the way, we're side-scrolling. This isn't a 3D area just yet, so I would mention. Control stick to move left and right, A button to jump. Yay, indeed! For some reason, you can't go down that pipe, so I'm just gonna skip ahead. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Needless to say, this game is very lively, even from the very beginning. Aside from this little kid. Woo! I can't pronounce that, unless it's a literal pronunciation, like triangle XX, triangle, triangle X, question mark, exclamation point. But I highly doubt that. <laughs> uh, didn't look like it. It looked like he was KO'd. What? Really? Already? Come on. <laughs> Just met. Unless you can sense that Mario's a good guy. And this gives you the spin! If you shake the Wii Remote, you can spin like that. Doing it in midair will give you a spin jump. Very handy. And you can use this spin to do a variety of things, including breaking levels. <laughs> Or at least breaking parts of levels. Sure, what the heck. <laughs> Apparently the toads don't mind being spun at high speeds in the slightest. Really? The princess is in a castle? I don't have to go to another castle? The water relief. <sighs> what, what, what happened? Why were you trapped inside that crystal-y thingy? Thank you. Alright, let's move on and see what's going on. Whoa! Okay, something bad is definitely going on here. Let's see what's- oh, 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 it's Bowser. Who would have guessed? <laughs> and he's rampaging all over the place. <laughs> this is probably one of the silliest intros in Mario game history. It's like, they don't even hide it. Bowser is going to be kidnapping Peach. <laughs> They're not even saying, hey, we're going to make a new story here. We're just gonna make it as ridiculous as possible and say this is how Bowser captured Peach and you gotta go rescue her through the regular platforming. <laughs> Look in his hand. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, Mario games. Not about the story, more about the gameplay. Nintendo knows that and they don't even bother with a new storyline. <laughs> In fact, I, I believe games are about the gameplay and not the storyline in general, so that's why I prefer Mario as my favorite gaming franchise. <laughs> that does sound rather delicious, although I don't think I'd be able to eat all of it. So, how did Bowser get so massive? Well, you're not going to be able to find out in this random gameplay video. <laughs> yeah, mushrooms ain't gonna cut it, man! <laughs> so anyway, let's move on here. By pressing the A button, I think. Yep, there we go. Stay calm, stay calm in all caps lock. I don't know, you toads are kind of useless whenever Bowser is in effect. And I know I can walk on that. There we go. Even though it's smoking hot, you can indeed walk on that thing. <laughs> I, I would think that you guys would be used to Bowser by now. Of all the times he's come and you know, ransacked the kingdom, as well as Peach's castle. <laughs> well, he's just living around here. We, we let him go every time, and that's how he's able to kidnap the princess, and yeah. <laughs> 
Notice that those mushroom railings, you see the mushroom in the middle of those railings? They're free-floating inside those railings. They're not connected to anything that I see there. <laughs> they're just like mushroom coins, but they're somehow stuck in the middle of the fence. Maybe it's magnetic or something like that, and it's pulling it from all sides perfectly even. <laughs> That sounds good. I'm gonna need all the help I can get to collect the loads upon loads of stars that I would have to collect for a walkthrough. <laughs> That's another thing about making a walkthrough on this game is that I would have to make a, a menu system like, um, say, Super Mario Sunshine or something like that. Well, I'm not gonna spoil how many stars in this game there are, but there's more than any other Mario game. In fact, double than any other Mario game. Well, except for Super Mario 64 DS. And, well, du well, there is more than that game, but I'm, I'm saying double other Mario star collecting games. You get what I'm saying here. Listen to the awesome music, by the way, as tradition for Mario Galaxy. Coins recover your health, and you'll need them to get other things in this game. Coins are actually useful in this Super Mario Galaxy, unlike what they were in the first. But it kind of feels like that they make you grind for coins in the, in the stages that uh, do have coins. If you run through these bushes, you can sometimes get star bits out of them. Uh, I'm going to kill you like so. Oh, and flowers have coins, apparently, or at least these do. Uh, you'll notice that some of them shake, which indicates that there is something in there. That if you walk through them, you'll shake out whatever is inside there, whether it be coins or star bits or something like that. Let's see, these, these have the star bits and stuff like that. Anyway, go down this green pipe and you'll actually get some progress. Although, you could just skip this entirely by long jumping over the fence like this and completely skipping the whole pipe thing whatsoever. By the way, if you kill a Goomba like that, you'll get star bits, but if you jump on them, you'll get coins. What do you have to say, Mr. TV Screen? Yeah, sure, what the heck. It literally is a TV Screen tutorial. <laughs> Very charming way to do a tutorial, actually. Man, Mario sure is a violent guy. I mean, he just kicked that Goomba when he was down. I think I already told the peeps that, but yeah. Coins recover life, star bits you can shoot at things. <laughs> or you can use star bits to collect and unlock certain things as well. That's another factor of the game. So I tend to uh, hoard star bits like crazy and not shoot them whatsoever. <laughs> just out of pure instinct because... Another thing about this game is that in order to 100% it, you literally have to get 9,999 star bits inside a toad bank. And it is quite the task. <laughs> Lots of star bit grinding, and it, it, that, that, it kind of annoys me compared to the original Mario Galaxy, because you, you could literally collect stars in the first Super Mario Galaxy and get enough star bits to... Uh, unlock things along the way, but in this one, it, it requires you to get so many star bits that you're often grinding to progress, and you you guys, if you've followed my videos for a while, you know how much I hate the grinding in video games. RPGs, you know, like turn-based RPGs, like F Final Fantasy or Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest, hate those games because of the grinding. Oh, I should show you a little bit of... Yeah, you can do little shortcuts like that by wall kicking off the edge. And I'm not really explaining the controls very much, as you can tell, because this is a random gameplay video. If you grab this, different things will happen. In this case, you gotta collect all the notes. Boop! And this will give you three one-ups over here! And over here is a bonus area thingamabob! Collect the rainbow star, which makes you invincible! You should pretty much recognize this from the original Super Mario Galaxy game. Run through all of these critters and you will get three one-ups instantly. It is pretty awesome. By the way, be careful of your speed when you are um, Rainbow Mario because of the fact that you run pretty dang fast. And yeah, I'm just trying to get the rest of the star bits here. There we go. Well, let's move on. And use the platforms. 
Yeah, they appear on these little translucent platform former thingies, whatever the heck you want to call them. I've never seen anything that could create platforms at such a rate, so I have no idea what to call them. <laughs> uh, over here, you can get to this launch star by doing a double jump and then a sp oh, and then a spin jump, or maybe I could just do it with a flip. Oh, that works too. Jump from planet to planet. These are really tiny planets, by the way. Woo! I love the gravity in the Mario Galaxy games. Oh, I guess that's how you get to that sling star normally. <laughs> by the way, the ones that make you fly through space are called launch stars, and the ones that just fling you to another spot on a planet are called sling stars. Uh, you should be on the lookout for comet coins, or comet medals, excuse me, along the way, because you need them all to 100% this game. Just saying, and the first one in the game is if you ride this thing around, you'll probably see it coming up at the bottom of the screen here eventually. Wherever, oh, there it is. Voila! And there's one per level. Now, there should be someone here. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I got a little bit ahead of it. I'm taking all these shortcuts. <laughs> Woo! Got the star bits in midair with the pointer! I like the way that the Mario Galaxy games always keep you active, even during those little, um, uh, pre-made seek- uh, not pre-made, um, you know, like you're just flying through the air. Normally, you in other games, you would just be flying through the air, but in this case, you want to collect the star bits before you run out of time to do so, and that rush room doubles your health, obviously, as you've seen there. Go around to the other side, and I could be exploring more of this place, but this is just a random gameplay video. Don't land on there, Mario! What have you done? Looks like we have a baby piranha plant to fight, and it's pretty dang large for a baby. Just spin at its butts, the egg part portion, and spank that baby child abuse style. <laughs> well, at least that's how I see it. <laughs> Come on, go! Go around, go around. He, he can't turn quite as sharply as you can. That's the trick to getting around him. I, lo I like how the, his, uh, his footprints are around the planet. It's a nice little touch there. And for some reason, he can reform the egg. <laughs> and now he's a really, really ticked off baby. Although I do question if he is... A Whoa, getting a little aggressive here. I do question if he is an actual baby. By the way, if you shoot those things on the ground with star bits, you can get some coinages within. Ah, Nintendo promoting child abuse. It's too bad. No, that's not you at all. <laughs> I'm just making jokes here. Woo! And boop! The first star of the game! And if I made a walkthrough on it, you would have seen a little menu system pop up. But I'm not! <laughs> Boop! Only 118 out of 9,999. <laughs> and now we are about to meet... My least favorite Mario character, or <laughs> I should say my most hated Mario character. This guy, Lubba, he is the Mario equivalent of Big the Cat to me. <laughs> Though not quite to the stupidity that Big the Cat has, but uh, I just don't like this guy. He, he has bad jokes. He's dumb. <laughs> He's pretty much everything that Big was. Well, I, I guess Big didn't have bad jokes. He was just bad. And I mean really bad. <laughs> so this is apparently a spaceship. <laughs> I could imagine, actually. I mean, how do you turn a planet into a spaceship? Oh, poopers. Yeah, that's what happened to the, uh, uh, stars. So, the power stars run the ship, basically. 
Apparently this Luma here is quite the high-ranking Luma, despite it being very, very young. Uh-oh. I'm not liking the sounds of this. Uh... Um... Hmm... I wonder which one I should choose. I don't have much of a choice here but to say yes, don't I? <laughs> so I'm gonna choose that's right instead. Although it's pretty much just the same thing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say yes this time because it's a more boring answer. Meow, that's right! <laughs> Ah, <sighs> bad puns have been st I mean, bad puns are started. His puns are just awful! Terrible puns! And he's got more to spare. Many more. So that is apparently a spaceship planet in the shape of Mario's head. It is delightful. Oh! See what I mean about the bad jokes? Mm -hmm. ah, Okie dokie. So, anyway, I'm going to press the Z button over here. And that's how you set up the ship. He best grab that wheel. And that's exactly how I would react as well. <laughs> so, this is how it works. The more stars you have, the further you can fly through the galaxy. It, it doesn't really make much sense because of the fact that you can actually go back and forth between things on the map, as I'll be able to show you here. So, maybe I shouldn't question the game logic. <laughs> like, watch this. I can go over to the next level, but I can't go over to this because it requires three stars. But you would think that, you know, I, I, that would be two, two squares of travel, right? Well, I can just move two squares back and then two squares forward again with no trouble whatsoever. So that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, let's start the next level in the game and find that dang dinosaur that was completely absent of the last level. Duh! I mean, where was he when you need him? Probably doing drugs as usual. <sighs> Dang fuzzy spores. So I'm just gonna be doing this level and then ending off the random gameplay. Listen to the awesome music, listen to it! Okay, that's enough of that. It is a really, really catchy, jazzy, groovy song. I can't help but hum this song sometimes. And you can kill those piranha plants just by spinning at them when they're not attacking you. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, that's because he's been doing fuzzy spores! <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you people Yoshi is the worst drug addict in history? So anyway, go up here and watch this little trick I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to long jump! Instant kill! Oh! I was so close to pulling it off! <laughs> you can insta-kill him by long jumping onto his head before the cutscene even starts. It's kind of... I mean, during the cutscene it's really, really interesting to kill it like that, but I failed! I failed, dang it! <laughs> so there's our little drug addict. And he is one hungry critter. I mean, who wouldn't be after doing so many drugs with a tremendous amount of withdrawals? Although he can speak English. <laughs> and you can hover jump in midair by holding the A button, point at things, and then press the B button to eat them, like so. And up here is... You know what, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> 
Up here is the Comet Coin for the world. Good, glad that I got that taken care of. And Yoshi can walk through this gooey mud with no problems whatsoever. Uh, Mario, however, cannot. It will cause him a lot of ire, it'll make him all slow down and sticky. These guys right here, you, they get attached to Yoshi and kind of kiss him like so and get bloated with his saliva of sorts. I have no idea, they're kind of gross. Eh. Shake him off by shaking the Wii Remote. <laughs> and bonus area! What do we have here? It looks like a Yoshi eating bonus area of sorts. Point to as many of those critters as you can so that Yoshi laps them up as quickly as possible. And you can also lap up the one up. Oh, I guess you can't lap up the one ups. You gotta collect them directly. Oh, that's too bad. Could have swore you could eat the one ups. You could definitely eat them in Super Mario World, though. Alright, let's get out of here. Do not fall, by the way. Down is death. Just saying. And uh, this sign's got something to say. If you grab onto it, you have to pull back on the control stick to grab it. Yoshi will devour it without any trouble. Epic a volcano explosion with star bits. Collect them. And they will follow you throughout space. That is so awesome. <laughs> and you're looking for this cube. Just to pop open for the fun of it. Uh-oh, what have I done? I just thought I'd show that cube. It, depending on what you roll, you'll get a different prize. Sometimes you get star bits, coins, and other stuff. But actually, what you're looking for is a star thingy. There we go. It's in one of them. <laughs> Woo! And moving on, this really odd-shaped planet. What does this signpost have to say? Uh, it's not going to give you any trouble whatsoever. By the way, you can grab onto these things and pull back to eat them. Surprisingly, Yoshi can digest pretty much anything. I suppose after having so much fuzzy spores, though, he doesn't feel pain anymore. <laughs> so that might explain a lot. Anyway, let's move on up this mountainous tower here. And wait, where am I supposed to go? Can I actually get up there with... Uh... Yes, I can. Hmm. It seemed a little too high. thought I would have to go around, but whatever. <laughs> Yoshi poops out and spits out star bits all over the place. Uh, maybe that's where the universe was actually created. It's actually Yoshi's. <laughs> like they eat some stuff and then they poop out some other stuff. Kind of makes sense if you think about it. It's the circle of life. <laughs> all right, see this? Yoshi can swing on it. Yeah, it's a little flower swingy thingy. And we're nearing the end of the level here. And got a checkpoint. You can actually hit the checkpoints with your pointer and you'll be able to uh, actually activate them. But you have to be close enough to do it, so it's kind of useless to do so. <laughs> Grab that with Yoshi. And you'll pull it right out of the ground. Those things, you can pull off their webs. That's the gimmick to those critters. Woo! But you can knock them out of the way if you'd like to. And we got some platforming 101 going on here. Oh, I suppose you can knock them when they're spinning like that. Forgot all about that. <laughs> Boop. Ah, I'm not gonna get that extra life. I'm too lazy. <laughs> e. No! Don't don't knock me off my Yoshi. I do not want to get knocked off my Yoshi. Well, I might as well grab it now that I have to wait anyway. Come on. Woo! Boop. Eat it. There we go. When I tell you to eat it, you better eat it, Yoshi. <laughs> I point at something, and you nom nom it. And up here is the star. Up here is a later star. <laughs> but as for now, I'm going to grab the star and end off the parts. Well, not parts, end off the random gameplay video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.